Hello students, today we are going to learn the topic seeds and seeds. Let's learn about seeds, how they grow and their amazing journeys. Gopal's mother asked him to soak some chana for dinner. Worried, he soaked twice as much. When his mother returned, she saw the chana overflowing. How much did you soak? she asked. Gopal wondered, how did that happen? His mother replied, you soaked too much, but it's fine. I'll cook half and leave the rest to sprout. She explained that soaked seeds grow bigger. This makes them more nutritious. Now what exactly is a seed? Seeds are like baby plants waiting to grow. To grow, seeds need air, water and nutrients from the soil. Now here's an interesting video in which we can see how a seed grows into a plant. We will study more about this in the coming slides. Now, let's talk about germination. Germination is the process when a seed begins to grow into a new plant. It starts when the seed absorbs water and the embryo inside starts to sprout. Next, we have the seed coat. A seed coat is the outer protective layer of a seed that helps protect it from damage, drying out and harmful conditions. So, how do seeds grow? The process of germination has a few steps. First, the seed coat breaks. Then, a root grows down into the soil. Finally, a stem grows up and leaves sprout. Now, what is a sprout? A sprout is a germinated seed that has begun to grow. Sprouts are full of nutrients and taste great. If you want to make your own sprouts, here's how you can do it. First, soak chana or mung in water overnight. Then drain the water and tie the seeds in a wet cloth. Lastly, keep the cloth damp and your sprouts will grow. But remember, both water and air are necessary for the formation of sprouts. If seeds are kept soaked in water, they will not sprout. If they are kept in the air only, they will not sprout either. Now let's explore some plants that hunt. Some plants like the pitcher plant Nepenthes trap and eat frogs, insects and even mice. Found in Australia, Indonesia and Meghalaya in India. It has a pitcher-shaped structure with a leaf-covered mouth. Its special smell attracts insects which get trapped upon landing and cannot escape. Next, let's talk about the types of seeds. There are many seeds classified by color, shape or texture. Here, we can take a look at the type of common seeds. Seeds also have amazing journeys. Plants cannot move around. Once they grow, they remain in the same place. But their seeds are great travelers. They can reach far and wide. For example, light seeds like cotton float on the wind. Coconut seeds can travel far on the ocean, while mango seeds get carried by animals that eat the fruit. Speaking of seeds, let's discuss Velcro and the idea of making it. Velcro is a material made of tiny hooks and loops, used in clothes, shoes, bags and more for easy fastening. In 1948, George Mestrel got the idea for Velcro during a walk with his dog, when he noticed seeds sticking to his clothes and the dog's fur. Upon close observation, he discovered the seeds had tiny hooks that helped them stick to fabric and fur. This inspired him to invent Velcro, a material with tiny hooks for fastening. Now, let's look at where some of our fruits and vegetables came from. There are so many fruits and vegetables that we grow or see around us that were not grown in the past. They came from other countries and continents to India, for example. Tomatoes and potatoes originally came from South America, while cabbage and coffee beans came from Europe and Africa. Finally, let's see what was grown in India long ago. Long ago, many plants were grown in India that we still see today. Here are some examples. Spinach, mango, radish and brinjal. In summary, we learnt about the journey of seeds, how they grow and some interesting facts about plants and their origins. Seeds are truly fascinating and play a crucial role in our ecosystem. We hope that you have understood the topic. You can now study chapter notes, watch video lectures and solve MCQ tests of this chapter on EduRef to ensure you score well in your school exams. And that's not all. 
You also get amazing courses for maths, science, English, Hindi and much more for class 5. Thank you.